Happening now, firefighters continue to battle a string of wildfires burning across the state of California this morning in triple digit heat, I might add. Residents and fire crews in Lake County, north of Sacramento, were forced to evacuate yesterday. Officials say the flames are spreading at a rapid pace. In fact, the fire grew from 150 acres to more than four and a half square miles in just six hours. The cause of that fire still unknown this morning. And check this out the Coast Guard says a two mile wide oil slick has mysteriously shown up. Off the Southern California coastline. Authorities say they still don't know where it came from, but it surfaced in the Santa Barbara Channel and they expect it to dissolve on its own in the coming days. During that overflight, uh, you know, we, we had had our helo fly around to look for potential sources. Uh, unfortunately, we, we weren't able to uh, identify any potential source at this time. However, we are actively investigating. Uh, where where the source or where the sheen could have originated. Yeah, and here's the deal. Two months ago, the same area was flooded with over 100,000 gallons of crude oil when a pipeline broke there. Not sure if they are connected, but it seems like it would make sense. In a developing story this morning, teams are examining debris from an airplane found off an island off Africa's east coast. Investigators believe it came from a 777, the same model as the missing Malaysian Airlines flight that disappeared in March of 2014. Part has pretty much been identified as being a flapper on, a part of the wing. And uh, we've had sources that work inside of Boeing where they were frantically looking at photos of this, comparing it to diagrams of the aircraft to see. And they also confirm that this is a 777. But of course, until they actually get to the aircraft and actually look at individual markings, they can't make that well determination. Yeah, if the part does belong to Flight 370, it could help investigators figure out what caused that plane to go down. 239 people were on board that flight.